What's good all my trader and investor homies out there? It's your boy Kevin from Touchdown Trades, your trading BFF, your stock market bestie. We're going to be talking about yet another EV stock today, but this one is just a little bit different as it has kind of been flying under the radar for a little while. Not as many people are talking about this EV stock. With the EV se sector as strong as it's been, with companies such as Tesla, Neo, Workhorse, Nikola, Hillion, all making huge moves and headlines, it has taken some of the shine away from this EV company that we're gonna be talking about today. And that stock is Lordstown Motors and their merger with Diamond Peak Holdings DPHC is the ticker. Lordstown Motors and Diamond Peak Holdings announced that they are going to be merging via a SPAC similar to the one that Nikola used to go public and the one that Hillion is about to use to go public in just a couple weeks. This may be my favorite EV stock right now. I believe Lordstown Motors has unlimited potential and the sky is the limit. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing Lordstown Motors and DPHC and talking about the company as a whole. We're going to break it down. I'm going to put a price target on it. So stay tuned and let's get it. All right, trader homies, it's time to finally talk about this Lordstown Motors. You can see it's currently trading under the ticker DPHC. It's going to be merging with Lord's, Lordtown, similar to what Nicola did with VTIQ and similar to what Hillion's doing with SHLL. They do it what's called via a SPAC, which is basically a holding company. So this Diamond Peak Holdings Company is just basically a shell corporation. Lordstown is using it to bypass all the big banks that you would need to use to get an IPO done. And they're just gonna use this holding company, merge with the holding company, and then they'll change tickers and they will be a publicly traded company. And that's what all these big EV companies have been doing lately. We can see that it's made a huge run up. Today, it's up about 15% on the day, just today. So you might be saying, Kevin, wait a second, this thing's already made a huge move. It's kind of played out, isn't it? And the answer is absolutely not. I don't believe that for one second, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna to be expressing my opinion on why I think this Diamond Peak Holdings Lordtown Lord merger is an absolute all green lights buy. Full disclaimer, I am long here from like the $16 area. I have like a 1620 average, so that's just a heads up. But before we get started, do me one big favor. Go ahead, give me an early like. These videos take quite a while for me to make and I put a lot of time, effort, and due diligence into them. And the only thing I ask from you guys in return is to give the like button the old snake eye jab in the eyes like we do it here at Touchdown Trades. And at the end of the video, if you feel like you got something informational or something that helps you out at all from this video, consider subscribing. All right, so let's jump right into this. Here we are on the Lordstown Motors website. They have a truck that they have available for pre-order. It is called the Endurance and it should be coming out in 2021. And you might be thinking to yourself, wait a second, this looks very similar to Nikola's Badger and it kind of does look similar but this Lordstown Motors is nothing like Nikola, and I'll tell you more about that as we get into it, but I am way more high on this Lordstown versus a company like Nikola. Let's take a look at this YouTube video real quick on their YouTube channel, Lordstown Motors YouTube channel, and it's gonna show us what the endurance, the truck that they have available on pre-order looks like. So let's take a quick peek at this. It looks pretty slick, I'm not gonna lie. We got some people getting ready to go to work on the farm here. It looks like they're loading up their EV truck. Jimmy and Timmy getting the wood out of the back of the truck. Billy is driving to work, plugging in his extension cord. All jokes aside, it is a pretty sleek looking truck. All right, let's talk about why I'm super high on this Lordstown Motors. We have the team of CEOs and executives over here, all very good people on the executive side of this company. We have the offering and the merger details right here. Diamond Peak Holdings will be merging with Lordstown via the SPAC and the merger of the two companies. And we also have $75 million being invested 
by General Motors. Lordstown will be using $675 million of their own cash to fund the operations and growth. This is a key bulletin right here. This is a big deal. No additional capital requirements expected between now and going to market to achieve positive cash flow. That means that they're not gonna have to raise capital on us a year from now and crush investors. You remember what Tesla did just a couple week, just a couple days after they did the stock split where they raised capital and the stock tanked for the next three days via a public offering. So basically what they're saying is there's not gonna be any crazy public offerings after they go public that kills investors who are early to invest in the company and that's really big news what makes this truck unique is that each hub has a motor inside of the hub so a normal truck has like a million parts working in the engine this truck by lordstown has one moving part in each hub which makes the risk of breakdown and failure much smaller they also have key strategic relationships with several prominent companies already before going public. We have GM, Goodyear, Samsung, Workhorse, and Holman Enterprises. Also, they, we have pre-order customers already by big companies like Clean Fuels Ohio, Duke, er Duke Energy, First Energy, couple big energy companies there. That's really big right there. Grid X, ServPro. ServPro is huge where I live in Atlanta. If they can sell a few thousand trucks each several years to ServPro, that is a huge deal. ServPro is the company that if you have water damage in your house, they come out and take care of the mold and all of that. Imagine how many trucks a huge company like ServPro needs. So the fact that they already have pre-orders from a company like ServPro is absolutely huge. In my opinion, this right here is the biggest deal out of everything that we're gonna talk about today. The Lordstown, Ohio plant that they have. So Nicola, Nicola, whatever you wanna call them, they don't even have a plan. I don't even know if they have really have intentions to come out with any products, but Lordstown, Ohio was the home of a big General Motors plant for years, and it shut down in 2019. Lordstown Motors bought the plant, and that is where they're going to be manufacturing this endurance pickup truck. And that is absolutely enormous. They have the manufacturing down, pat, they have pre-orders ready to roll. This company is just ready to roll. Once they go public, they're gonna be off and running and ready to take off with this endurance truck. Versus a company like Nikola, which is trading at a much higher valuation. Nikola went public via a SPAC as well, but they are so far away from the manufacturing process that it's not even funny. Years down the road, this Lordstown is ready to go from day one. They already have 1.4 billion in existing pre-orders and this this promotional pamphlet or this filing was done months ago. So imagine how many pre-orders they have to date. Pre-orders on deck, they're talking about the, the US tr pickup truck market is said to be upwards of $600 billion per year. So if they can just take a piece of that pie, then this company has huge growth potential. They're targeting the fleet market, which is extremely smart. They're gonna be targeting companies not only will they be targeting the average consumer, which will be able to go and buy this truck off the street, your average guy like me or you, but they're gonna be mainly targeting big companies who need to re-up their fleet of trucks every several years, because that's huge. Because every six, seven years, a big company that uses trucks every day, like a landscaping company, like ServPro, they're gonna need new trucks quicker than your average Joe. So if they can get deals with big fleet that need trucks on an annual basis, that is big, big news. Here we have a little infographic comparing the Lordstown Endurance to other several EV pickup, pickup trucks that are gonna be coming out or have came out recently. And here are the two main competitors. We can see the Tesla Cybertruck and the Nikola Badger. And this is my main focus right here. Is it commercial fleet focused? And that is big, a big deal because that's where the money really is. Companies like Ford, GM, and Dodge have focused on, on promoting their trucks to commercial fleets for the decades. And that is what has made them very profitable and 
successful companies. And now that's what Lordstown is doing. And I think that's paving a foundation for them to be successful as well. And we can see that the Tesla Cybertruck is not going to be used for commercial fleets. The Nikola Badger, not for commercial fleets. And that just wipes them off the map for me. Although I am a believer in Tesla, I am not a believer in Nikola. I'm not a believer that Ford or GM is going to be able to get off and running. I think Lordstown has a head start and they are going to be able to get their foot in the door and get some serious contracts with some big commercial fleets. Here we have a overhead shot of the Lordstown, Ohio facility that will be manufacturing the Lordstown Motors truck. So the Lordstown Motors is based in Lordstown, Ohio. This is the plant where they will be manufacturing their endurance truck. It has the capability of producing 600,000 vehicles per year. It is over 6 million square feet in size. It is just an absolutely massive facility and this is giving them an edge versus their competitors like Nikola because they have the manufacturing process already in line, already ready to go. All right, so that is why I'm extremely bullish this Lordstown Motors and this Diamond Peak DPHC Holdings merger. Now that we've talked about a little bit about the company, a little bit about why I am in love with this company, can't even talk, I'm sorry. So now let's put a price target on it post-merger. I'm not talking about what's going to happen pre-merger. I've heard some merger dates. I think it's a few months out. There's nothing set in stone yet. I've heard the merger is going to be a few months from now. So we need to compare it. We have history to compare this to. We have two stocks that have done exactly the same thing that's about to happen with Lordstown and Diamond Peak. So let's compare the two. All right, guys. So in the middle, we have Nicola. Right here we have Nicola, and right here we have Hillion SHLL, and right here on the left we have Lordstown Diamond Peak. I know it looks like we've made a really huge move up, but in all actuality we really haven't. We're only like right here in the process where Nicola is. So Nicola made a over 100% move after that standpoint. We are only really right here where Hillion is. Hillion made almost 100% move after that point in the process of the merger. I know it's not a sure thing that at post-merger this company is going to ramp up 100, 100-200%. Uh, I'm not basing my hopes on the merger. I believe in the company as a whole. I believe in their product and I believe in their future, but I don't think the merger is going to hurt. Sure, it may die down in the next three months before the merger happens, but I'm just going to use that time to buy any dips because I think as the merger starts to near, traders will see articles talking about it. The buzz will start to pick up again and buyers will start coming in like crazy right before the merger and right after the merger happens. So I'm looking to buy any dips on this Lordstown Holdings. I'm putting a price target of $50 a share from one year from today for this Lordstown Holdings. It's an optimistic price target, but I believe it's extremely possible and plausible and I'm buying any dips. I hope you guys got something from this video. I love every single one of you guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting on? If you haven't yet smashed a like, what are you waiting on? I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Drop.